as my own life is about to end at its very last and final moments to have you here with me I feel satisfied <sighs> too strong at its very last and final moments writing your will I'm writing my novel you know what don't get me wrong I know your main career is writing but don't you think that doing it at work isn't right? Not really, I guess. But, all right. I'll stop now. Hey. Hmm? Can I ask you something? Sure. It's about me. Do you think I'm smart? Of course you are. You're really smart. Oh, I'm really smart. Uh, here's the thing. Uh-huh. You see, Shun Ching Kwan and I, uh, well, we made this agreement huh. that neither one of us can actively contact Ouyang, and I was thinking, was what I did a smart move? Well, uh... So what you mean is, I'm smart, but I'm also stupid then, right? Hey, I didn't say that. Okay, this is how I understand the situation so far. Mm. The agreement works for gentlemen, not cowards. And you are both smart and a gentleman. I think I understand what you mean. All right, then. I've said it, and it's already done, but it's a little too late to start being a coward. Uh, no, 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 not a coward. You can't be called that. This here should be called... called Just Cause. It's self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. You're clever, huh? And you're going places. Thanks for this talk. Keep it up. Mm. <laughs> Ma'am, after you leave, don't eat any spicy food. Get lots of rest and exercise. Thank okay? you, Doctor. Don't mention it. Shen, are you free tonight? For what? You see, I've been doing some thinking, and, and I thought that I wanted to talk to you uh, about my IQ problem. I'm a heart specialist. I can't treat your condition. Wait! Come on, I'm being serious. Oh, you're serious? I seriously have plans tonight. Maybe next time. Dr. Shen, Dr. Oyan needs you for a patient with irregular heartbeat. Excuse me. No worries, go for it. Hmm. Ooyang. Hi. What is it? Take a look. The values shown are lower than normal, but it's still in the safe zone. Just keep an eye on them. Okay. Xiao Chen, file a form in half an hour to do another ECG. Got it. Don't worry, he's going to be fine. Okay. If he's feeling any more discomfort, just turn the IV drip down slower, okay? Okay, thank you. Hey, let's have dinner tonight. We can talk after work, all right? Doctor, someone's here for you. On my way. See you. Chuan doesn't know I contacted you, but I know his personality. You see, he doesn't want to pressure, so he won't let you find out. But I think that you should know. She hasn't even accepted you. What are you pushing her for? If in the end she doesn't agree and you've already harmed your career, what will you do? That's the way love is. Even if it's risky, we have to push on. You only get what you give. You can give all you want, but not receiving is a fairy tale. You've always been a smart and mature person. Why are you being immature? Mom, I'm not being immature. I've experienced near death, so I know what's important to me. Without Wu Yang, my life is incomplete. So now, it's make or break for me. Even if I lose everything for her, I won't regret it. Without her, your life is incomplete? Nonsense! I'm telling you! Without me, you would never exist! Go! Get out of here! Now! You're 
You're the most important thing in the world to him. What is he to you? Cause is determined. Family says he has diabetes. All right, prepare to move him. Ready? All right, easy. Take it easy. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, that's it for me. Yeah, that sure was a long and tiring day, huh? Well, you're off now. Go get some sleep. But don't stay up riding all night, understand? Oh, I couldn't if I tried. Though, to be honest, I really can't stand it anymore, Dr. Chung. Why can't there be just one day, one day where we don't get any patience at all? That would be so great. Keep dreaming. If that were the case, why not no sick people in the world then? Wouldn't that be better? Yeah, it would be. Then we wouldn't need doctors at all, and I wouldn't have to keep pretending in front of my parents. You're pretty good at pretending, huh? Very believable. <laughs> Xiao Chong, you coming? Huh? All oh, right. You're not leaving hmm. yet? Uh, oh, you go ahead. I've still got work to do. Okay, then. Bye, Dr. Chung. Bye, bye Dr. Bye. Chung. Ouyang! What is it? Now can you tell me if you can have dinner with me? Let's go. Okay. <gasps> they have your favorite pork buns here. This way, please. All right, this is it. Okay, Shanchen Kwan. Listen, Shanchen Kwan. Shanchen Kwan. You. How about this? Your sister came to me. She told me everything. She shouldn't have done that. Not much I can do now. Don't think about it. Do I really mean that much to you? To me, you're worth the world. Oh yeah, a person's worth exists in one's heart. And in my heart, you're priceless. Haven't you given a thought about if you end up with nothing at all? Funny, my mom says the same thing. Buyang, remember back when we were in school? During those days, I really wanted to be a doctor, have an amazing career, and with you there always by my side. During those days, I just thought it would always happen. Then when I came back from the US, I suddenly realized that I wanted you to come with me. I also realized I haven't done much of anything for you. So now, please, let me give you something. Even if I end up with nothing, I was able to do something for you. Ching Xuan. Don't think about it too much. I didn't want to tell you that I didn't want you to know what happened because I don't want to pressure you. But due to recent events, you now know everything. I'm really sorry about that. Uyang, 
I can't just place all my problems on you, and I don't want you to think that you owe me, nor do I want you to promise me something or anything for compensation. All that I wish is for you to know what you want. I mean, for you to follow your own heart. Just give me one more night. I'll give you my answer tomorrow. Okay, I'll wait. But enough of that. Let me order some stuff that you like. We're ready. All right. One lobster, please? Sure. And the barbecued pork buns. All right. Strawberry salad. Mm -hmm. I'll take you home. Okay. Jun. Hmm? What are you doing here? You were following us. If I didn't follow you, how would I know that you broke your promise, huh? Shun Jin Kwan, you know I've kept my part of the bargain. And you? You broke yours. I wanted to go in, but I didn't. You broke your promise, but I can't. So I didn't even bother you guys. Cheng Zhen, I'm sorry, but I can explain it. Great. Just the right person I wanted to talk to. Let's talk somewhere else, huh? Sure. Come on. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, don't worry. I won't do anything to him. I just want to talk to him about basic morals. Oh, yeah. We're all adults here. You go on. Don't worry. Hold on, you two. I'll make my decision now. We're all here anyway. I wanted to decide tomorrow, though. Ching Chuan, you came back just for me, and I was really moved. Ching Jun, your care for me over the past two years has moved me too. I know that I have to choose between you both. And it's a tough decision. <laughs> Sorry for causing so much trouble. But no matter what happens, I think this is a very important moment in my life. I just hope you can understand. Understand how much I want to love someone with all my heart. just apologize to me. That must mean I'm the rejected one. I'm sorry. I admit, I had an IQ problem. But there is one thing that I don't have a problem with. That's keeping a promise. But you do. So I said I'm sorry. I didn't know that there was someone else in Ouyang's life. Once I found out about you, I got pressure. Ching Chen. You're a good person. Nevertheless, it's been decided. Thanks for the compliment. I guess I just went back on my promise because of love. You must feel horrible right now. How about we get a drink? A drink? A 
drink? I don't think so. You know something? It's enough for me not to feel jealous right now. But don't you dare ask me to come celebrate with you. My IQ is kind of back now. We do that every night after work. Can't we do anything else? Exactly. Why do I have to hang out with you two all day? Why can't I just hang out by myself and get a girlfriend? What's, What's with, with that, that look? look? <laughs> you two? I wouldn't take for free. And what makes you so special? True. But you know, I think he's right. Why huh? give our youth to our careers? It's not like we're born for only that. Why can't we get boyfriends? Listen, so who do you think is a good match for me? You? you? No one, I'm afraid. <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Dr. Chung. Dr. Chung. Hey. What are you three standing around for? Go on up. Oh, yes, we were just about to. Mm. All right, it's late. Get some rest. Hey. Are nightclubs fun? Hold on. So you mean you're out? That's right. I'm out. You really like Dr. Oyang that much, huh? If I did, why would I come here with you? Come on. Hey. Tell me, will you? Why did Dr. Ouyang choose Shan Chin Chuan and not me instead, huh? Dr. Chung, I've always thought you were really smart. But why are you so dumb about this, huh? It's so obvious. It's just a matter of you liking her, but she doesn't like you. But why doesn't she like me, then? Why come she doesn't like me? I don't understand. Let me explain. Okay, okay. Uh, you just wait a minute. I know. You two tell me the truth. I want to know the whole truth, all right? Dr. Chung, we're girls, of course, so we totally understand how she feels. But if we say something harsh, you have to promise not to get mad, okay? Right. Honestly, it's just that I think you and Dr. Oya aren't really a good match. Not good? That hurts. How are we not a good match, Ao Chan? Because... Well, this... this... this is you. How could that thing be me? Color red means passion, boldness, willingness to help others, a sense of justice, like you. Oh, I can accept that. Now this white one is Dr. Oyang. Cool, cautious, scrupulous, and otherworldly beauty. Oh, sounds right. Hold on, who's the blue bottle then? Of course it's Dr. Shen. Dignified, reserved, majestic, level-headed, and mysterious with a touch of sadness. I'm starting to think... <laughs> that you're making them sound better just for me. Dr. Chung, you're wrong. It's not about good or bad. You're just different. Okay, if you're red, which color do you like? Well, white, of course. Then, what does blue like? Why should I care about that? Of course it likes white. Then, what color does Dr. Oyen like? Color blue. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no fair. Why can't I be the color blue anyway? You can't be color blue. Oh, okay, okay, all right, I get it. I can't be the color blue. I can only be the color red. But I still do not understand why Ouyang just doesn't like the color red. Why doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> You're starting to lose confidence now. Dr. Ouyang likes color blue because they're both cool colors. Watch and see. They look good together, right? This one, not so much. Wrong. Look, if you put warm and cold together, aren't they a great combination? See? White is for coolness, and red is the color of passion. Cool and passionate, don't you think it's weird? But if the coolness is dignified, then that even sounds like a better match. Another example, white is cautious, red is bold, cautious bold. Get it? They're exact opposites, and that's why they don't match. <laughs> oh, and no from you. No, you. You tell me. <laughs> Dr. Chung, you know, you're very warm-hearted. Yeah, there you go. That's right. And you are always like that every day. So you can't really tell when you're being warm-hearted. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Does that even make sense? Now look at Dr. Shen. He's normally collected and calm, mm -hmm. but then he's suddenly warm to Dr. Oyang, completely and without any regard to anything. 
so it has a lot more impact, right? Even if it weren't Oya, if it were me, I'd be sweet too. Hold on, hold on. So you're saying that my persistence doesn't matter, but that his spontaneity does? You have to understand, persistence is part of life, but spontaneity is romance. If a Prince Charming suddenly showed up, any girl would like him instantly. But then if one man came all the way across the world and gave up everything just for me, oh, I'd be crying a river right now. Me too, I cry a river too. I really admire Dr. Oyan for holding out for so long. I know. You girls are so narrow when it comes to love. I enough, enough from you. Okay, Xiao Chong, your yeah. turn. You go. Uh, Dr. Chang, the girls are definitely missing the point here. See, this kind of problem can't be looked at sentimentally, but from a rational point of view. Yeah, hear that? Now we're getting somewhere. So from a rational perspective... Speaking purely rationally, you and Dr. Ouyang are on the same path. You can't be together. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, how can you call that rational? <laughs> Here's the situation. Dr. Ouyang is ambitious. Her sight is set at 20 to 30 floors high. While you, it's not that you don't have goals. You're just the down-to-earth, dependable type. Your feet are both underground, and you can only see as high as the first or second floor. One is this high, and one is this high. That's a big difference. Now look at Dr. Shen. More ambitious than Dr. Ouyang and sights are at skyscraper level. That's why he went to the US. However, for Dr. Ouyang, he, he came from downstairs. Understand? Now I'm asking you, who do you think is better? Wait, I can go upstairs too. Why can't I go upstairs when people are always setting their sights high, am I right? Right, you can go upstairs, but you'll be looking upward, whereas he's coming downstairs, looking downward. That's it. Oh, so you're saying that I'm not good enough for her? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Here's another example. I'm a writer, as you know. In this story, you're, you're the righteous swordsman. You've trained alone for 10 years, but have never fought. With you around, justice shall be served. I like this one. Great, go on, go on. Dr. Ouyang is the ice queen. Very regal. Accurate, very accurate. And Dr. Shun is a mystery. I'll reveal later. When he first appears, he's in a tragic situation and almost dies. You, as a swordsman, draw your sword and save him. Later, you find out that he's the lost prince of a nearby kingdom. So you take him back to his homeland. Then he becomes king and wins the Ice Queen while you continue to wander the land. So why do they get married and I continue to wander the land? Where's my part of the story, huh? You're the swordsman here. The swordsman, the queen, do, do all of you see my point? Well, they're a, a king and queen, a perfect match. What kind of advice are you giving me? You're just making it worse. Besides, this is completely different from the way you usually talk. And you're a teacher, aren't you? The way you usually this talk. This is kind of a unique circumstance. We have to tell the truth no matter what, right, Mung? Right, we always have to be honest. You, you. Oh! <laughs> all right, Yay! come on. Cheers, cheers! <laughs> Good morning. What's wrong? Couldn't sleep last night? I, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, have some milk. Um... Thanks, I'm fine. Chen Jun? Yeah? I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry. Don't say that. You made a choice. I respect that. Of course, I... I don't have much of a choice. But I wish you well. Hey, it's okay. I respect that. It won't affect my work. I can bear it at least. We are still friends, right? Uh, hey, hold on. I just want to apologize. We're still friends. We're still friends here. All friends. I, um... I, uh... I, I, uh... I wish you well, alright? Come on, let's go. 
Hey, it's okay. Just come on in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ingestion? Unknown. Before they left, her roommate just saw her lying on the floor. Gaster Lavage, tell Head Nurse okay. Lynn. All right, is everything Excuse ready? Me. All right, everyone here? Let's get started. You have to wait you can begin the procedure. Let's get the patient sterilized, okay? condition then we should call Shen Ching Chuan broken heart got dumped no seriously she took a hundred sleeping pills is she okay for now did a gastro lavage but here I don't think she's recovered all right I'll console her no need I've got experience I can handle this I can relate all right she's all yours I Chan huh? assist him you have experience too What? I do have. Okay. You've got experience? Well, first go talk to the roommates, will you? I hope she's okay. <gasps> Doctor, is Shinnel okay? She's fine. We saved her. <sighs> Thank you. That really scared us. Did you contact her family yet? We just rent a place with her, but we don't know her that well. We do know that she's from Hebei, but that's about it. Nothing else. I see. Could you give us more details on what happened that pushed her to commit suicide? What's there to tell? He dumped her. She and her boyfriend were together for two years. They were about to get married. Then the guy was suddenly snatched away by another girl just like that. Yeah. She couldn't move on ever since. Oh. How is she? Not good. She keeps on resisting all our efforts and keeps saying that we shouldn't have saved her. I think she's fine. Her body's in good condition so far. She can go home after a few days, she'll be better. This is the ER, not the breakup counseling center. How could you be so cold? What if she tries to do it again if we let her go now? We saved her now, but then what about next time? Chao Chang's right. Chao Chang, you should change that mindset. You can't just half save a person. All right, you stay here. I'm going to talk to her. <clears throat> so, you've made up your mind? You don't want to live anymore? And you still saved me. No matters at all, huh? All these doctors work so hard and you don't feel any gratitude towards them? You doctors only care about face and nothing else. If someone comes in and you don't save them, it's disgraceful. You've never even thought of why I wanted to die? Because to me, still being alive on this earth is torture! And you still saved me! Don't you know how I feel? <sighs> okay. Now those are some harsh words. Nothing's worse than a dead heart. Get it? So there's no point in trying to save me. I don't think so. Your heart dying might not be a bad thing. Only if your heart dies can you come back to life. But if your heart doesn't die and keeps hanging on, neither alive nor dead, then that's torture. So you're feeling miserable? That means your heart isn't dead. Are you thinking, am I not good enough for him? How is she better than me? Why did he throw me away and run away with someone else? I'm right, aren't I? Now listen up. Whether or not we're right for someone isn't up to us. Because if it were, you wouldn't have taken so many pills, now would you? If he thinks you're for him, then no matter what you think, it's true. But if he doesn't think you're for him, then no matter what, it won't work at all. 
<laughs> when it comes to love, the worst case scenario is simply a one-sided love. Remember, it takes two to feel the same way for it to work, okay? Why do I get the feeling he's talking about himself? <laughs> But I did so much for him, and it hurts. Was everything all for nothing? So you want to get what you give, huh? That's cool. Studying, work, and salary. Listen, in love, there's no such thing. My advice, don't dwell on it, okay? Now, how does that saying go again? If one tree's gone, there's still a whole forest. Go take a trip, clear your mind, then find someone else, start over. You'll be fine. <laughs> Doctor, what you say is easier said than done. I can never forget about him. <sighs> Go ahead, cry your eyes out. You'll feel better. Uh. But don't keep crying. A, a bit is enough. When you're done, get some sleep. What you need most now is rest, okay? Hurry. Open the door. Do it quick. I got it. Oh, dear. Get the IV. Blood test. Prepare for a CAT scan. Right. Sir, has she always been in good health? Why, yes, she's always been healthy. Uh, but she's been hiccuping, and she doesn't feel like eating lately. <sighs> Mrs. Cho, can you see me? What's the matter? We're going to do a CAT scan for you, all right? No need. Don't say that. We need to do one, okay? Because the results are... My bag. I'll take a look. Hey, Chang Jun. Yes? Come quickly. Huh? Your grandma is here. M my grandma's here? An ambulance just brought her. Follow me. Huh? What? Well, is she okay? I'll check, Mr. Chun. Director. Look at this. It's been two weeks. Look at this. It's been two weeks. Grandma! What are you feeling, huh? Are you sick? Why in the world are you here? Hmm? I'm fine. Grandpa, tell me what's wrong. Grandma! What did this happen, huh? Why did you tell me about this? Why, huh? I'm fine. Grandpa, how long have you known this? Why didn't you tell me anything? I just found out too. She didn't tell me anything. The past few weeks, she's taken me out every day. She has taken me all over Beijing, as well as to all the places we went to when we were young. Why, we've been gone the whole day. She said she didn't want to go home. Then by the time we made it to the door, she had just collapsed. I was trying to call you, but you didn't answer. I was too busy. I didn't hear my phone. Grandma, I've been so busy. I didn't even know you were sick. It's all my fault. Why didn't you tell me that you were sick, Grandma? I am fine. Calm down. Don't upset your grandfather. I was able to talk to Director Zeng. What he wants to do is, once she's stabilized, she'll transfer to the hepatobiliary. It's too chaotic here. She won't rest well. And if she's here, you won't be able to concentrate. All right? 
Okay. All right. Let's do that. Miss Lynn, why are you here? I was just checking if you're okay. I'll be on my way. Oh, all right. June, June. Oh, Grandma. How are you feeling, huh? You feeling better? I'm feeling fine. You're already this sick and you're still feeling fine? Would you believe? I'm not a bit worried about my condition right now. Both you and your father are doctors, so why worry? Grandma, I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm just an ER doctor here. All I can do is CPR and IV drips. Oh. I can't really treat what you have. And Dad, <laughs> he just ran off to Africa to save people without, without worrying about his own family. I just think that it's not fair to you, understand? Oh, you. You are busy. I understand, dear. Mm. No matter where you are, you are out saving people. No matter who you're saving, they are also people, too. Mm. I'm already very old. And let's face it, I don't have long anyway. I don't want to bother you. How are you bothering us? You're our patient now. How is treating my grandma a burden, huh? No more talking like that, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. I won't talk anymore. Uh, I'm feeling tired. Oh. I think I'll sleep for a bit. Mm -hmm. You get back to work now. No, no, I'm off. I'm not busy now. I'll just stay with you. Get some sleep. Uh, don't mind me, okay? What? Uh. Just get some sleep, okay? <laughs> Oh no! It's going to be terrible. Just calm down! What is the matter? She won't listen. She's too emotional. Call the police and the fire department. Hello. Fire department. It's not a fire. Someone here is about to jump. Yes. Sihua Hospital. Guys! How did this happen? How'd you just run off, huh? She said she was just going to the bathroom. I haven't jumped yet, and she will? <gasps> Miss, what is the matter? Stay away! <gasps> Don't talk to me! I'm gonna die today. You there. Quick, go call my boyfriend. Tell him to come here. I'm gonna make him watch me die here Sarah. with his own eyes! <gasps> Miss, please! Stay away! <gasps> Chun Chun! Don't Don't let Chun. come back here! Chun Chun! Stop! Stop! Up here! I want her to see me jump now! Don't do it! She only turned you down! Dr. Chung, please don't jump! Calm down! Dr. <laughs> Chung, if you die, we'll be really sad, Dr. Chung! Please! Huh? What are you doing here? Dr. Sheng, what are you doing here? Killing myself. And you? Me too. Okay, you jump, then I jump. Let's not get in each other's way, okay? Chung don't meddle in this! Get down here! Me Director too. Zeng. I'm very sorry. Thank you so much for all your care and all your trust over the years. But I really can't go on. I can't do this anymore. You guys, go call Chen Xingguan for me. I want to talk to him. What? Go! <laughs> go now! Someone tell me what he's doing. Chen Xingguan stole Ouyang from him. That's what. Why is he doing this? Go and call Miss Lin. Have her bring Ouyang and Chen Xingguan. Yes. 